All right, we got Fat Shark coming at us hard and heavy with another community com link. This one, our first one of March. So there's nothing really cool or crazy in this community com link. So if you were looking for any kind of news on what the future updates of the game are looking like or stuff like that, unfortunately, there's nothing in that in this com link other than a projected timeline of late March for that content drop. So it's nice to see that that content drop is coming and it is happening this month, but we don't have any details of what that looks like. It looks like it's gonna be the largest patch yet, but we do also have a small patch releasing next week that'll include Psyker and Ogrim buffs bug fixes and some crash resolution. So if that's all the news that you wanted, or I'm sorry, if that's the info you wanted to know, then that's the info that you need. <laughs> uh, the rest of the, throughout the rest of this comm link, we're just gonna talk about the quick things that they brought up, such as the new base ratings they're going to be introducing for um, items for characters at level 30 and so on and so forth. So if that's all you wanted to know, go ahead and feel free to shut the video down. But before you do, please don't forget to like, comment, and or subscribe, I couldn't think of my words right there. Any one of those does help me out in a huge, huge way. Also, swing on over to Twitch and give me a follow on Twitch. We stream um, Dark Tide every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, and it is, goes a huge way towards helping me hit my Twitch partnership. So you can find a link to that in the description and the pinned comment. But let's go ahead and jump here into the uh, community comm link here for the 2nd of March, 2023. As mentioned, there's not a ton to go into. A lot of this will be me kind of expositing over the small things that they do bring up. So first things first here is next week we will release a small patch including small Psyker and Ogren buffs, bug fixes, and some crash resolution. So that will be coming here, um, I would imagine, around Thursday, thurs, Thursday time. Um, and uh, my mouth is just not working today. But I think that's kind of seems to be the rough timeline that they do things thursdays have been the big comm link day and whatnot so we'll see how that kind of plays itself out but towards the end of march we will release a large patch more details on this will be in the next comm link so stay tuned very excited to see what that looks like hopefully it's finally a content patch um, i know i said content earlier in this video and i think in my dumb brain i thought that this said release a large content patch but clearly it does not say that so i apologize um but I'm hoping that this does include content. <laughs> um, I think we're finally at that point where the game is at the point that we expected it to be at when it launched. So now it's time to trickle some maps back in to add some more monstrosities to give us the, the uh, premium cosmetics back on. Um, just start giving us more weapons, uh, a new subclass. I mean, not all at once, right? Like th these don't things don't need to happen in the next patch. But I think we do need to start feeling that this is a live service game that they... Um, they marketed it as. And I think that we do need to start seeing life <clears throat> pushed back into this game because the player base is finally starting to correct its downward, downward plummet answer didn't come back up. So I think that now it takes a little bit of effort on Fat Shark's part as far as content goes because they've been crushing it when it comes to patch and communication in the last month and a half. Stoked to see it, love to see it. Now let's roll out that, that live service content, baby. But <clears throat> let's get into some other stuff here. Oh, we also want to thank you for all the great feedback you gave while testing our new and improved hunting grounds condition, which is wild. If you have not played with the hunting grounds condition, you need to play with it right now. <laughs> it is insane. There's so many damn dogs. Rather than getting like, oh, here's just two dogs. It's like 500 small dogs that are very weak. Experimental branch. We are still testing the changes in the experimental branch. If you are having issues with your GPU related crashes, please consider looking at this post on our forums that allow you to jump into the experimental branch so you can get a, a feel for it. We don't currently have a time frame for when we expect to add any of these changes to the main server. So if the experimental branch, branch is helping you, um, they don't know, you know, when it's going to be coming out. Hopefully soon though, if it, if it is like, if a large amount of the community is impacted by this and the experimental branch does help them, I hope that that kind of gets rolled out quickly. So a big one in this uh, comm link, I think probably the biggest one next to the next portion of it, which is more of a quality of life thing, is base reading of weapons for players at level 30. So the next patch, so next week, we will make small adjustments based on our uh, some of our findings, but for characters, for characters at level 30, you will no longer see a weapon with a base rating of under womp womp 300 from the armory exchange sire melks requisitorium or through emperor's gift the rest of the changes we are currently working on we will cover in the next uh, cover in the patch notes next week so i think this is a really awesome step i think it sucks though it's at 300 because i, I realize that not everyone's playing uh with 
prolific people like Grimm and, and, and Damnation, right? Like that that guy has got like such a crazy capacity for all tied games and he knows everything. So he makes me better because he tells me things. But 300 for the layman even is just too is just too low. It's just too low. I understand if you don't want to make it 360 or 380 or whatever um, because 380 is our cap right but but at least make it 350 at 350 at least you know you get some sort of serviceable weapon at 300 to 350 the chances of it being very good are pretty slim unless you have a weapon with a uh, modifier stat that is a complete throwaway and you can sacrifice it right like I have an Antax Mark V combat axe with I think it's at like 343 and almost every single value is at its max, except for mobility. And I'm cool with that. That actually plays really well. And it has Brutal Momentum 2 on it. So it's like, okay, this is actually a really cool match made in heaven. And I, I do understand that maybe they're doing this so that you can farm blessings. Because a lower um, uh, rating, I believe, does help out with pushing it through its uh, its necessary tiers. But still, I it's it's just... I think at 300, if I'm already at level 30, if I'm or, and it's 300, I'm just going to discard it. It does not help me out in any way shape or form but i also understand that the grind is part of the game in some to some extent you know like i don't think that everything needs to be off that really hardcore rng but i think 300 is just too low if it was 340 350 you at least get a serviceable weapon serviceable weapon that you can probably play with in almost any um environment so i think that needs to be an increased number because right now you know it's like a lot of people are saying they're they're dropping hundreds if not millions that's not really you can't hold a million um uh, dockets i don't think right i think it caps out at nine 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 uh, but either way they're spending tons and tons and tons of dockets on grays and not getting any like 380s or not 380s for four or five hundred thousand dockets worth of uh, investment so i understand that but i still think that like the 300 is way too low it's still it's not going to really curb that result that much more so is it possible that icons for unlocked blessings might be coming and this is a huge quality of life one I'm really looking forward to. Yes, we currently are developing the ability for you to see which blessings you have earned at the shrine and which blessings you still have yet to earn. You will be able to see the difference in all places where the blessing icon is present, including the army exchange and sire Malk's requisite. Stop at the share button, dude. I want to share a fucking quote, including the, uh, the army exchange and sire Malk's requisitorium, both the list of weapons and on the larger detail weapon card. So really excited that we'll be getting that little boost of quality of life because I couldn't tell you how many times I just go to uh, go back to uh, Hadron and go, okay, uh, let me rip this blessing off real quick to see if I have it. Okay, I do have it. Because I'm managing blessings across my characters. And of course, we have a shared blessing bank, which is awesome, right? But it's just still, you have weapon pools on all of your characters and you forget which ones you rip off and you you're, you get all up your own ass trying to figure it out. So this, I think, is a huge quality of life bump. It really is just going to allow me to see on a fly, especially if I'm looking at Melk's store, right? Melk's store has become pretty cool in that that's the best way to farm uh, three and four blessings because Melk's ingots are so cheap now. By that same extension, though, I think the, the issue now with Melk's store is that Melk's store now pumps out three, four uh, level blessings. You get a lot of Melk ingots, but they increase the cost of everything on Melk's ingots or on Melk's requisitorium, the, the, the ingot cost. So it's like, all the things that you benefited from in the last patch as far as being uh, having access to a higher quantity of ingots through better uh, contracts, having way better weapons on the requisitorium is now diluted by the fact that it's now so expensive that you really can't tap into it as much as I think you'd want to. And I, I think it would be interesting too to just outright be able to buy those blessings with ingots at like, okay, you can't buy level four. You have to buy level one and you have to progress through it. That way, you know, you kind of remove the necess necessary hunt for all these things. But again, I guess you could argue that's part of the fun of it and like the gotta catch them all mentality and so on and so forth. But I'm just trying to spitball some ideas here. But either way, I I'm excited to see this quality of life bump. It's something that we desperately needed because I was spending way too much time at Hadron just seeing what I had. But that concludes our community comm link here. Only just three little bits of information to kind of go over, but still some things to talk about nonetheless. Go ahead and let me know in the comment section below. I someone has said that the Flame Ogren and Chaos Spawn are coming. Ogren? Ogre? Ogren? Yeah, it's, oh, it's Ogren. Um, so I don't know if that's true or not. 
So if someone else has heard that and someone's seen that on the Discord or Reddit or something like that and has an actual official statement, let me know. But from what I understand, that's just hearsay and it just gets me unnecessarily excited for things that are coming to the game that might not come to the game. And I just want to have more stuff that comes to the game. Either way, go ahead and let me know in the comment section below how you're feeling about this. Uh, we'll be stoked to jump back into it next week and have some fun. Uh, when this video goes live, I'll be jumping into Wo Long, the basically like think um dynasty warriors meets souls born it's uh, by the same people who made neo one and two i'll be streaming that on the channel i've been doing a giveaway on twitch so go ahead and jump onto the twitch and watch some stream and have some fun but as always guys thank you so much for watching here today have a good one and take care